Welcome back to another great, fun, exciting episode of Honey Bee Rescues with me, Yappy Bee Man. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go get some honeybees that have decided to take up residence in that house behind us. This would have been so beautiful to see with all these bees coming in. Our, our customer can't come out here because the bees are flying around. They're allergic to the bees. So, And a lot of times what these homeowners are going to do is they don't know any difference and they're scared of them, so they will call an exterminator. We don't want to have our bees exterminated. Obviously, we need them, but there's a lot of reasons why we shouldn't. But check this out. This is what they found to get into. This little hole up underneath her porch. And that's where they're going in and out. So what I got to do is I've got to open this void up, drop this down, be real careful, not make the bees mad. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to try to get them settled down and then we'll walk through the process on rehoming them. Uh, you guys are going to have a lot of fun. If you don't have a lot of fun watching this, I understand a lot of you are all scared of bees and you freak out and everything else. But uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. All right, guys, so based on the color of the comb that we're about to find up in here, we can tell how long they've been here. The homeowner basically understands the bees to be here less than three weeks. They know three weeks ago there weren't bees coming and going from here, uh, but they're not sure exactly when to put a time frame when they showed up. But I can already see some bees. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that. And there, my friends, is a brand new colony of bees in their new home, just waiting, just waiting for me to come along and take them home. That's a lot of bees, girls and boys. I mean, a lot of bees. Um, looks like they were coming through, they were coming through that hole I showed you and actually crossing over on the water pipe. Well, I'm glad we were careful with that, coming through this little hole and getting right up in there. How cool. Hey girls. Hey girls. Any good mood? Huh? Any good mood? Look at that. No, we wouldn't do this with Africanized bees. We wouldn't probably be here doing this with Africanized bees, and this would be a much better video for you, the viewer, if it was Africanized bees. Oh, I love it. See how white that comb is? Right there. That's brand spanking new comb, just barely getting ready to be used. So, I can't tell on the back side right now, over in there, how far this goes. But I'm venturing to say it's probably going to be another foot or so. So we could open up this hole and make it bigger. That should be about it. Alright, let me get to work. Whoa! Somewhere somewhere up in here not I doubt very much on that comb but somewhere right up in there is gonna be that queen so we're gonna try to find her and uh, put her in the little cage thing like we did the last time and uh, we'll go carry him home put him put him in a beehive come on you ready let's do it What do you think about that? Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? Did you? Thank you so much. All right, well, I gotta get these girls back over there into the tube. So when you get your stuff set in, come and see me. How's that? All right, here we go. All of these are, are female. I'm trying to find you a little male in here. There's one right there. That's a drone. That's a male. Okay. 
What's interesting, he's got a lot bigger eyes. Is that how you tell the difference? Yep, but he, you see how rounded his butt is? Yeah. Where these have got a little bit more pointed? Uh-huh. All right, he won't sting. You want him? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. He won't bite. I promise you. Now, he'll vibrate. Feel it? A little bit. <laughs> you just did but so far I had found the queen and the girls up in the in the hive are being real nice real nice so let's go get these caught up in the back and uh, if I if I hadn't caught her in a cluster of bees where I vacuumed her up well then I'll hopefully catch her by hand and I'll show you what the queen looks like too pretty good yeah you want to take a look come on All right, girls, so here is our queen. Put her right here. Come on, girlfriend. And then, put that cap on. There you go, there's your queen. What's her name? I don't know, what are you gonna name her? Queen Bee. Queen Bee? I'll uh, come up with something queen, more. Yeah, give, give us a good name. Queen Bessie? You wanna call her Bessie? <laughs> All right. Well, Bessie's usually a cow, and the cow that they named Bessie was the one they liked the most. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll call her Queen Bessie. How's that? Good. So, what do you think about Miss Queen Bessie? Huh? You yeah. like that? Yeah, I don't see how you found her. You well, them. well, did you see how how her color was different? Yeah. And her body was longer. Uh -huh. That's the, that's what makes a queen. Yeah. Okay. So. I guess after having that many babies, her hips got a little bit big too. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is I'll, I'll take that box home. We're gonna put them in a hive. We're gonna let them get going back again. Um, they're not gonna miss a lick as far as, um, you know, going right back to being bees. In fact, that many right there, they're gonna rebuild. Uh, we won't get honey off them till next year, but you know, yeah. it'll be all right, so.